Alright, time for a Remus game. Uh, today I will be trying the boss, his Remus build in the jungle. Pretty much the setup he goes for. I thought it was a spicy Remus setup, and I figured I might as well see uh, how well it performs in the jungle role. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing here. I'll be playing against a full AD comp here, actually, which is extremely beneficial. I first picked Ramus, and they picked this into me. So I am absolutely chilling. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, man. If they want to pick a full AD comp into a Ramus, we are we are literally chilling. Um, I don't necessarily need a leash. Uh, but... Okay. I mean, if they're gonna be here, then I guess I can just, like, take advantage of it. I was initially... Hello? Can you aggro to me? Thank you. I was initially planning to start on Raptors with the W, but if they want to give me a leash, it's okay. I will not uh, look down on their kindness, you know? Uh, that was a really good leash, actually, so I'm not gonna smite the first camp here, because that'd kind of just be a waste at this point. So that's not something I'm doing. Now, all you really have to make sure you do with Ramus is make sure you put up your W, and then with that, you have to, um... Yeah, well, it's just all you have to do. I smited a little late there, it's my bad. Put up your W, do not interrupt your W with, like, your Q or something. That is a very bad thing to do, and you definitely want to avoid that. Use your Q between camps whenever you have the opportunity to. You will be a little bit careful with the Q using on camps, though, because you have to, uh, make sure you... If there is a gank opportunity, it is up. For that opportunity so definitely keep that in mind but yeah you can see with a w you can kind of just clear the entire thing take the e here and then we just do between the next camp and we're just gonna go for a nice full clear to start it out just to keep it nice and easy we see this guy walk up full plane here though uh, pretty far into the lane you can use your taunt as well by the way for extra attack speed so that is definitely something that can help you out speeding up your clear And, I mean, I was about to finish this full clear, but look at my mid and full plane. Like, this is so free. Just go for a quick gank on. Uh, why is this swarded again? Are you serious? This guy didn't pay attention. Wait, he's just trolling. He's just dead. Just taunt him and make sure we press W so he hits me back. And then here we just... I'm, I'll just flash for it, I think. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it, but... Yeah. Take the aggro from the minion wave here, real quick, so we can help this Pantheon push this out. This way you can just stop you, and then you can kind of push out the wave. I want to help him push this, because he is kind of low on, like, HP and mana. It would take him way too long by himself to push this wave, so... We, do, we definitely do go for that. There is a Jarv in here. I am a little bit worried about this situation right now. There he is. Taunt him. Reflect damage while he keeps hitting me. Just keep your W up and you'll be fine. I did get him quite low. That's going to show up. I mean, Jarvan was never really going to beat me in a 1v1. As long as my W is up, he just does free damage to himself. So, you know. At least I got to protect my blue buff. Let's take the blue. I mean, obviously, like, if there's a gank opportunity like this, they're just prime targets, right? Like the Yone right there, or even the Yasuo, whoever I decided to go for, really. It's just like, yeah, go for it. Max my W first here. Generally, like, Ramus is used to just, or like, just max Q in jungle for, like, mobility, like, gank purposes. But, you know, I was maxes W on top lane, so I figured I'd just give it a shot. And really, W max on Ramus jungle. So the first thing we'll be looking for here is going to be the Thornmill Rush. I do have normal boots with that right now and uh, on this component, which is really nice. And we'll just move down to the Krugs once again. Portland seems to be doing quite well for themselves. Pretty sure this Yone has no flesh, so there might be a good opportunity for a mid lane, uh, mid lane gank after like these two camps. Maybe hitting level 5 should allow me to uh, set that up pretty well. Also, another thing, uh, about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy my content, watch me more regularly, consider subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Is this Thresh going to give me like a lantern, maybe? Nope. That's unfortunate. 
Kind of hoping he'd give me a lantern over the wall so we could speed things up, but I guess I should have aimed for that. I don't know. Just, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Just please, please give me the assist. Oh, I didn't think so. I mean, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll take. I'll take the kill, but that wasn't necessarily my intention. Uh, okay. Ooh, you pushed him off the scuttle. Thank you, Thresh. I was expecting a Thresh land turn, but okay. Well, we're sprinting bot lane. Thresh, where are you going? Uh. I feel like he could have just l walked in from behind and made that play possible. I genuinely think... There should be a free kill on this guy, surely. Okay, just taunt him and just we keep our W up and he's dead. Very nice. Ma! Looking a little sus at this Thresh right now. <laughs> the, the the willingness of gank setup is looking a little spicy, but sure. Kill is a kill, I'll take it. Take the red and the raptors here, I think. And then I'll recall going into Rift Herald respawn on one minute. I think. Doing good damage though, definitely doing very good damage. 1900 for Thornwheel. First item we're getting. Bond for hack speed. Hmm. I should not queue towards the raptors here if I want to go for this mid lane gank, perhaps. Sweep here real quick. Make sure we communicate to our mid laner what, the, what is going on here. Are you serious? Orn, please. Orn, please. Respond. SOS. Orn. Activity on the minimap, my boy, please, thank you. Oh, bless, I at least got the assist. <laughs> I mean, eventually Orange showed up, you know, it's all good. It is all good. I am feeling this top lane gank quite favorably right now. I mean, there is a Rift Herald, and I saw the Jarvan bot lane, so don't get me wrong, I see it, but... Bolt lane is looking tempting right now over this Rift Herald play. Ganks are good. This is apparently not... There's no plant here on my way. Is this warded? Has to be. Has to be. Alright, fine. I'll just go do this scuttle, I guess. Uh, I could herald here. At this moment in time, Orn's starting to get some pressure. I don't have smite now for this, though, but... Surely. Okay. I mean, if Jarvan runs for this, I guess I'm kind of doomed, but... Find out soon enough. I'm not going to use my taunt for attack speed here, because it doesn't really matter too much. It's mostly going to be I proc that's going to give me this clear. And if the Jarvan does show up, I'd rather have my taunt ready to go. No, you rat! Oh, I got it in time. Bless, bless, bless. Uh, can I perhaps get some Pantheon assistance? Pantheon? I see it, I see it, I see it, don't worry. You know, yeah, you rat! Couldn't get my taunt on him, man. I was spam clicking, he just dashed through me. Sad. Very sad. I mean, if my Pantheon would have had, like... Honestly, any type of reaction speed there, I would have been chilling, but Jarvan would have been dead. Or the Yasuo would have been dead because he has Pantheon ultimate, but damn. He got to go through me without getting taunted, that's crazy. I, I was literally spam clicking it as well and it just didn't go. Kinda sucks. Probably should have just auto attack moved towards him. I didn't do that, so that's my bad actually. Because if I auto attack move towards him, I pretty much always get at least one auto off and he sh should not be able to do something like that. Get top scuttle here. I mean, W doesn't really matter for Scuttle that much, does it? Oh, it does actually. Okay, cool. Never mind. I'm gonna have a really nice recall here in a second, actually. How much do I need? 1900 plus 800 is 2700. Alright, I need one more camp. 20 seconds on Dragon, though. Eh. 
I mean, it's it's quite an upgrade for that 100 gold, so I think it's worth it anyway, because it's basically going to be a boots upgrade, right? So I'm looking for that right now. Every time a boots upgrade is into play, this is very, very relevant. Don't really want to use my smite here. They should really be very careful considering that bolt land situation right there. They're all the way pushed up. I am currently not in the vicinity. If they're going to go for anything there, it would be pretty bad. Max E second due to increased bomb duration. And we'll take this, this, and a control ward. And then we just run bolt. Jarvan isn't doing dragon, which is good. So I'm just going to go onto the map. Look to do maybe raptors here, perhaps. Uh, look mid lane as well could be a thing. I can do like one camp before my laners show up, my bolt lane especially. The Thresh, can you just walk forward, man? What are you doing, fam? I don't know what this Thresh is up to. Like, he literally just walked back away from Jarvan. <laughs> it's just like, okay, well, uh, sure, I guess. Is this guy gonna help me at all? I have high doubts for this. Yeah, no, no. Thresh just walked down instead. Okay, let's drag him then, I suppose. Hmm. I, uh, I don't know. I feel like this Thresh is kind of trolling me a little bit, but sure. I need to for attack speed here. I need to use my Herald within the next, like, minute. I mean, obviously, yeah, well, one minute on this, but I need to get it for third place as well. Looking for a mid lane gank would be kind of ideal, perhaps. Oh. Like that and then we just sprint mid. See if I can maybe get a Q into this one or something. Oh, doesn't look like it. I'm gonna tank the wave. This way we can reflect damage all these minions down real quick, and then I can just use my Herald on third because the Yasuo just recently backed. Back. All right. I'm gonna pop the Herald now. It should be fine. I'm never gonna get the entire third here, so. Hoping it slightly early should be fine. Didn't actually. Okay, I might be straight. Ah, we have a little escape actually. Be fine. Ah, okay. Well, man, we got a good amount of gold. Are you serious? He's not gonna have his EQ for this, but I'm gonna lose my red buff here. Like, but I, uh, and like, I don't know, man. I, 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 I see, I see how it is. Oh, come on, give me at least a taunt, please. I guess I'll just have to walk away from this. There is no way they do not die for that. Jarvan got out on that one, really. Wow, ah, uh, Satch. I mean. I suppose it is what it is. Uh, he got my red buff barely, unfortunately. It's just a situation there of my bot lane being very late to the, uh, to the party. If they would have reacted faster, slightly faster even, this guy would have definitely been dead. 100% of the time. But they might have been in a bot lane fight that I didn't notice, I suppose, that is possible as well. If the Rift Herald's spawning in like 50 seconds, I definitely want to look to play for that one. Very good. W is maxed. Going for even Stroud next. Uh, actually, uh, with this game, I could just specifically go for Sunfire next, I think. I'm absolutely chilling. Uh, eh, nah. I'll just go for even Stroud, it's fine. Even. I'm definitely going to go for Sunfire afterwards, though, because, uh, well, you know, full AD comp, armor items, great. Is this guy going to, like, give me a lantern, you think? That would be a sit. Oh, no! Oh, can I reach? Oh, nope. He didn't even get it himself. Okay. As Ramos would say. Um, I mean, 10 seconds on Herald, I guess. Get the blue buff real quick. We'll do Herald after. On for attack speed real quick here as well. I mean, I would like to do Herald. Am I worried? About the uh, thresh situation, perhaps a little bit. Did I go top lane here? I feel like top lane here is good. Okay, I feel like this is just somewhere warded. 
Yep, there it is. So you very, very, very quickly walked out on that one. All right, let's just W and kill this thing. Healers over here getting some objective gold with me from Herald. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm finishing the Herald first. Don't mind me. Uh, uh, like. Hey, get back here, Jarvan. You are not running for me today. I held my taunt waiting for, like, a situation where they would, uh, try to run for me. Oh, we can just go for this now. Really? That wet. Oh, okay. I could just herald this to be honest. Almost like it seems fine here. Interesting. Don't mind me. I got one bounce on this. I have like 30 seconds for the dragon, and I keep have to keep in mind. I mean, like red like raptors. Don't have to stick full plane there. They did end up getting turret. They split the gold between them there. It's not it's not bad. Can I get a hoop? Hoop. Not. Fine with me. Uh I feel it's a little optimistic this Star Dragon, isn't it? I don't know where Jarvan is. My team's position is not very good right now. I'm gonna be a bit careful about this one. I mean, I do good damage. It's just a matter of Pantheon has to ult, really. That's all of this right now. And he doesn't actually want to ult. Are you gonna, like, click Pantheon ult today? Or are you good? <laughs> like, oh, there it is. Yeah, 30,000 years too late. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. I, I just don't understand why he wouldn't ult when the Jarvan engaged on me, like... Dudes. I don't... I, I, I'm genuinely confused as to why he didn't just ult when they engaged on me, because if he did that, I could have actually taken a fight. That is... Okay, well, minus one dragon, of course, but that's very unfortunate. Because he, he was, like, right here. This is absolutely ult radius. There is no way it's not. So, right there, he could have just been there. But he wasn't. So I'm slightly confused. He's going to damage himself a lot. Look at him. His HP bar is just gone. I can't face check this, though. Because I'm going to be uh, walking into, like, five people. Not favorable. I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't have lost that fight. The Pantheon hard, hard troll his ult. He was maybe too focused on, like, bolt wave or something, potentially. I mean, Ophelios was also topside when Dragon was spawning. So, there's that, too. But... Interesting. Get my even start soon, which is nice. I mean, the longer this game goes, the more unbelievably broken my champ's gonna get because they are full AD comp, so I should be okay anyway. It's just a little awkward at the moment, I suppose. Take the recall here, get this, and then we'll build double cloth going into Sunfire, I suppose. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna get the cloth anyway. Uh, like, I don't have the money for this, but... One cloth goes into that, and I can go randoins afterwards. Uh, anyway, so I mean, I could go randoins before that as well, to be fair. But every cloth armor is gonna be good that I can purchase right now. I mean, technically, I can also go for like uh, uh, like steel caps and stuff, but Zorks is just added damage by a lot, even because we have no AP damage on our team, uh, meaning. If I pick Sorks, it's going to do, like, true damage for the most part, because they're not going to stack magic crystal or build magic crystal anyway, and I'm just going to do a lot of damage off that. Which is nice. I mean, I'm doing very well, I would say, but I'm just a little bit worried about my team's rotational capabilities at the moment. When you're playing a tank, that's still a very scary concept every time. Like if they don't want to set up plays or, like, rotate for plays or whatever, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Oh no. Yeah, about that. Fresh also kind of didn't respond to it or give him a lantern or anything, so... You know. Uh, 
Oh, Mr. Hoop, thank you very much. Could be a free kill. Very good. Gonna ult to close distance. Smite, taunt. Don't really want any of these kills, but, you know. Could be taunt here. That's a lot of damage. Wow, that's a lot of AoE damage from Zaya there. That hurts. Okay, fair play. Uh, yeah, I didn't have my uh, W up that moment that happened, basically, so I died really quickly. Zaya has a lot, a lot of DPS right now, so it's a pretty scary thing. Uh, especially getting clumped like that, because it was just a lot of damage overall. Fair enough. I didn't have anything left, I don't think. I mean, yeah, I don't think so. The feathers were just too much damage output there at that moment in time. It's already 450 bonus damage on Evenstride, though, which is quite nice. I mean, I'll be fine against Zaya anyway. Like, the longer this game goes again, the more armor items I'm going to get. So it's going to be okay. But it's just like, I need a thousand gold off her right now, actually. Uh, she is probably going to... What, what is this guy doing? He just walked up into mid lane all the way. Two turrets. Like, what is this? Dude, this Aphelios is just hard, hard into it. Look at this. Two turrets down and he walked all the way up to here. That's crazy. Okay, then, my guy. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? I would prefer a 5v5 one time around. That'd be great. Oh, rip my blue buff. Let's up here real quick. Are you serious? Alright, fine, I have to go for this guy then. Otherwise my Orn would have died. Defend from Oh, there's Zaya. You do so much damage, my guy. What in the world is that? Yo, Thresh, can you just rotate, please? What is this? What is this? Okay, great. How is that not taunt radius? Are you kidding me? There is no way these people stuck mid lane. There is. You... Ah, okay, great. If they, literally, if they would have rotated, that play would have been insanely free. But both of them AFK mid. I cannot believe this. That is criminal. Okay then, that sucks. Are you gonna go for Baron here? Ah, oh, damn. I mean, they shouldn't have been able to turret dive me realistically, but. If that happens, then, you know, ugh. Stun him in time, thank you. He should hit, hit himself to death on me right here. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna ult for distance here, actually, because my Thresh, my Aphelios, and my Orn aren't in a position to follow this. So we're gonna have to play this very slow and safe. Need to focus the Zion. We we will win this. I'm gonna go for Zion. She killed herself. Orn got the got the kill on Zion though. That's not ideal. That should be a death. Wait, Orn missed. It's not a death. Okay, my bad. He should kill himself on me. Really, there's nothing he can do. Yeah, there he goes. Perfect. Finish that camp off real quick, and we'll move over. Blue Smite's kicking in as well, so we have the movement speed. It's good enough for me. I just have to make sure I go for Zaya. She does have cleanse, but it doesn't matter that much, I don't think. We have to get this dragon down, please. And just want to taunt him real quick. He hits himself to death on me. That's perfect. Still, my main focus is still the dragon, because Jarvan's going to get here very soon, and if we don't hurry this up, we're doomed. Horn is chasing. That's the dragon. Ah, but... Fine. Couldn't reach the guy, because Jarvan was blocking very well. If this guy dies here, they lose Baron. I should have... I should have ulted Zaya. I should have ulted Zaya. Q. The auto-attack move towards Zaya here. On her right away. She doesn't have cleanse right now, and she just insta dies. We Baron. 
Baron. Baron. Do not push mid lane, I swear to god. If you push mid here, I'm gonna be really sad. Helios, if you would kindly move up, thank you very much. We just need a Helios damage. He doesn't have the right guns, I don't think, but still, it should be fine. 1,700 bonus damage from this so far. I shouldn't be using my W for this, I don't think, because having the W for when they rotate for this is going to be better, probably, but... Got it. Taunt this guy. Very good. That's very good. That's what we like to see. Reset. Please do not walk into mid lane. I swear to God. Just take red buff, you know? Just do AD carry things. Anything but run it down. All right, this, and then we take Randowins next. Because, well, I mean, look at their team, right? I mean, I could I could also... Ah, I mean, they have so many crit champs. This, this makes the most sense. There is no way this item gets outdone by anything else. Don't have to get any magic resist, so Randowins is just king here. I mean, Stoneplay would be a very, very solid choice. Don't get me... Like... But against no AP, it just doesn't make sense to buy stone plate in any dimension, so we're not gonna do that. I can just go for the Jarvan flank. I'm gonna look for the side play here. Instead of running it straight into them. We want this guy. My W up, he's already dead. Very nice. I could just run him down. There's nothing they can do. I'm just gonna. Oh, gonna go for Senna. Good day, sir. Bounce him. Put my W up. Bird hits me, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dude, I have so much art. It just doesn't matter, does it? You are literally just trolling there, my boy. Is he gonna upgrade my item, or what is he doing? Just go for the turret. Just too greedy. I feel like this is fine. Please walk away. They just respawned. This is not the time. This. Oh, okay. I am uh, gonna casually just go check if red buffs up. I guess. Let's see. It is not. The raptors are respawning though. Get some HP back from this camp, which can be beneficial. Red buff regeneration is kicking in as well, so I can definitely look to stay. But I need to uh, actually get my health bar back to full. I'm just gonna go for this guy, taunt him real quick. Taunt him. Did I just taunt him out of Zult? Oh. In this game, right? Poorly. Main last two items would have been random ones here into the. Um. Yo. Oh my god, I'm just stuck there. Okay, um, that's not good. I mean, my team ends the game here, it's fine. So this and then last item is going to be Deadman's Blade for the additional movement speed and armor. But yeah, looking very strong, honestly. Very good damage. 10k damage from Thornmail. Hello. Okay. 2800 damage from Even Stroud. How the hell did the oh, Rock Solo block? 10k damage from Thornmail. Jesus Christ. Okay. We are absolutely chilling. That was a very good carry situation. Uh, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> what can I say, man? The boss's Remus build works very, very well for jungle. The W max is a lot of damage output. You have less mobility due to no point, like no additional points in Q, so the cooldown isn't like higher or lower, I guess. But uh, the speed isn't affected by the um, by the two points, so there's that. But yeah, well. I mean, very nice. I will see you guys in the endgame stats for this one. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing the most damage. Let's go. Sit down, both of them, honestly. Ramus is king here at 20.9, almost 21k damage. 10k damage on Thornmill, though. Like, just a mat. Like, that's so crazy, man. 10k on that item. That's. Oh my god. Uh, true damage at about 1100. Damage to objective is 36k. Healing done at 14k. Damage taken at 30.1. Very nice. Also the most damage taken there. Self-mitigated on top of that at another 77.4. So I did the most, took the most as well by a large margin. 
<laughs> very, very strong, man. I mean, Ram is into a void, he comp especially, you know, you know, you just, we're chilling. Uh, gold earned at 12.8, and for the runes here, Aftershock for 1500 damage, about 750 mitigated. Font of Life for an extra 900 for the team. I mean, I switched the Font of Life runes and the Demolish set, uh, like, I mean, I'm not playing top lane, right? So Demolish is going to do less. Font of Life is going to be more beneficial for the team overall. And we have Conditioning for extra resistances. And then we have the Overgrowth for additional HP, which is what he runs. And then for Jungle as well, I didn't take the Boots with Minion Dematerializer, because let's be real. That's not going to change much for jungle, right? Like, the Celerity Water Walking is just a lot of map, mo map mobility that you're going to gain out of this. Like, extra distance on Celerity and Water Walking, movement speed in River. So it allows you to rotate the map faster, which makes a lot of sense for jungle remnants. But, uh, yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.